Hi, and welcome to Safe in the Real World. I'm Ahmed Syed. Somebody asked me a question. Ahmed, what is the difference between sprint planning in Scrum and in Safe? And in fact, is there any difference at all? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. So, in this video, we're going to quickly go through the five differences in sprint planning when you were working in a Scrum methodology from when we're working in a Safe methodology. So, let's get started. Number one, as you may have guessed, terminology. There is a difference in terminology uh, in sprint planning in Scrum than in SAFE. So Scrum uses the term product backlog and sprint planning. So it's product backlog and sprint planning. Well, because you're expected to have a single product that the team's working on, and so it makes sense. In SAFE, not quite so. We have multiple tiers of backlogs. We have a portfolio backlog. We have a program backlog. We have a team level backlog. And so that's why it's important for us to have a differentiation between the different types of backlogs. So that's why it's referred to as a team backlog. Again, to make sure it's framework agnostic, it's referred to as iteration planning rather than sprint planning in SAFE. So that's the first difference. A second difference we have is around the time box. So Scrum has a standard time box of between one to four weeks, uh, whereas in SAFE we have a default of just two weeks. And the reason for that is the individual teams, when you're working in the Scrum methodology, they have greater ability to be able to move uh, and change the time boxes or, or at least select the time boxes. You don't want to move your time boxes during your um, uh, during your project. Uh, whereas in SAFE, it's felt that it's just easier for us to have a standard two week time box that everybody can, uh, can align to. Next, planning inputs. Now this is a big difference here. So in Scrum, we have a product backlog as input and we also have the capacity as well as the historic performance of the team as inputs. Of course we're building on the product increment that the team may have been working on in previous sprints as well, so that comes in as well. Now let's have a look and see what the difference is in SAFE. So the first thing is, is if you remember we may have our PI planning uh, event which will have come up with PI team goals, that's an input, You've got your roadmap, that's another input. So that is your emergent plan that a team will be putting together that spans four to six sprints, depending upon what your cadence is for your program increment. You have got your team backlog coming in. And finally, you have got your dependency board as well. So these are the inputs that are coming in. now. If you think of it from a planning point of view, what's happening? When we're looking at an individual uh, team that's working in a scrum, then they don't need to worry that much about what everybody else is doing. When we're working in a, uh, uh, when we're doing iteration planning for a team that's working in a scaled agile framework, then there needs to be much more focus on what the other teams are doing as well. But we'll be talking about that in just a moment. So, um, the next thing is cadence. In Scrum, we can have isolated, we have the luxury of, of not having to worry about the other teams and cross-team dependencies, so we can have our own cadence. We don't need to be aligned. Whereas in SAFE, we need to have an aligned cadence. So now that can also uh, have a, uh, a bearing as well. And finally, cross-team dependencies as I mentioned. So, inside Scrum, there's not a lot of need typically for you to have to worry about alignment with other teams, whereas in SAFE you have a much greater need to align with the other teams as part of your sprint planning. So let me give you an example. You may have, you may be dependent on another team to deliver a story, then you want to make sure that they are going to be delivering that in, in that sprint uh, cycle. So you would want to make sure that you 
uh, coordinate and liaise with the other scrum master uh, to ensure that you are going to get delivery of that story in the right sprint. Conversely, if another team is dependent upon you to deliver something, then again, they may wish to make sure that the, it's got an appropriate level of priority. So they may wish to interact and speak with your product owner to try and make sure it's given the right priority level so that it gets done in that sprint. So five differences uh, in between Scrum and SAFE in sprint planning. Uh, but the key, the key thing is to remember that when we are working in a scaled agile framework model, then there's a lot more dependencies, there's a lot more uh, alignment that we need to do across the different teams and that can have a difference in your sprint planning. So, hope you found that useful. Thanks very much. Do sign up to Safe in the Real World at www.sprintzero.com. See you next week. Thank you very much. Bye.